Welcome back to the new Black Skies mini-series review. In this new mini-series, we're going to be taking a look at the Joy Toy Fear 3 Heavy Firepower Type. This is part one. I will be releasing the entire mini-series as I complete it, so just look for the playlist and you can watch it through or you can look for the different parts if you choose. But in part one, we're going to take a look at the packaging. Here we see we have a brown box. This is the outer shipping packaging. Um, we do see the Joy Toy um, Fear 3 Heavy Power Firepower type print on the front of the box. The um, box is a little dinged up because it's made its way all the way from China to the United States. But this is what it looks like and it is a quite large box. Okay, for one of the sides, we do have some symbols here. Don't get wet, I'm assuming. Breakable. Keep it out of uh, sunlight, I'm guessing. Still taped in this factory sealed box. Here down at the bottom, we do have some company information. Product information, I'm assuming in Chinese. And then we have a barcode. On the other side of the box, we have the same symbols at the top. It looks like we have some little rips on the from maybe removal of tape, I'm assuming. Here at the bottom we have some more information, product information, company information. If you want to go ahead and pause and read that if you would like to. But that is pretty much it for that side of the box. And the reverse side of the box here, pretty much the same thing. Joy Toy Fur 3 Heavy Fire Powered Type. That's about it for that side. For the top of the box, there's nothing to see but tape. And the same for the bottom of the box. Okay, we've slid the interior box out of the exterior box and now we can see our packaging. Um, you'll receive your Fear 3 mech with a plastic wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that now to avoid any glaring. Okay, here's the top of the box. The top of the box is all black with a yellow Joy Toy logo. This is a quite very large box. Um, it is 8 inches deep and it is actually a just shy of 12 inches long. So very nice. Here is a photo of the bottom. Okay, for front of the box is absolutely beautiful. Uh, this box stands just shy, almost 15 inches tall. It's quite large, so it's hard to keep into one shot. So we're just going to take an in-depth look at the packaging. We have the Fear 3 Heavy Firepower Type on the left. On the right, we have the Joy Toy and Battle for the Stars logo. Here in the center, we have the beautiful artwork, which is, you know, stunning for this packaging of the mech. That is really beautiful. As we move down, I can see him holding his massive weapon. Here at the bottom half, we have the scale, which is 118th, the Battle for the Stars. Very, very nice. Here at the back of the packaging, we have the 9th Legion Fear 3 Heavy Firepower Type. On the left, on the right, the Joy Toy and Battle for the Stars logos again. Then we have a little saying, pictures are for reference only, action figures sold separately. And then we have several product shots of the Fear 3 mech. Down at the bottom you can see there was going to be a figure included with this set, which is very unfortunate because you can see it there um, in this picture here. Um, but they scrapped it for some reason, maybe due to cost, I don't know. But it was a pretty cool looking figure. Here at the bottom, we do have some product information uh, for the Mega itself, Joy Toy information. In yellow, we do have a uh, some recommendations from Joy Toy. Please go ahead and feel free to pause and read it on your own time. Then we have the warnings again for children on the age of three and so forth. Again, you can read that on your own time. We have a foil gold QR code Joy Toy logo and a UPC made in China. Um, I really don't think you're going to be buying these and giving them to your kids. Uh, these are very high end. Um, I've seen these go for anywhere from 100 and 
I mean, uh, 130 from China to I mean, just 170 to 200 dollars in the United States, depending on where you get it from and who you get it from. So they're not very cheap toys or collectibles. Okay, on the one side we do have the joy toy at the top. We have a nice wire diagram of the mech. Very nice artwork. That is very cool. Then at the bottom we have a little bio. We have the Fear 3 Heavy Firepower Type Scale 118th in the series, which is Battle for the Stars. If I could get a poster or something like this, this wire diagram, I would definitely sport that on my on my collector's room wall. That would be very, very cool and very different to have if you are a mech fan. Here on this side, we have the mobile jo movable, <laughs> movable joints, and then we have the fully hand painted statements here in the two boxes at the top, and then we have a side pin drawing of the mech itself. Looks very incredible. Beautiful artwork done, nice line work. And here we have the Ninth Legion. The bottom. Very nice. Just want to get and let you know I am holding the camera because it's such quite large package. I may have been a little bit of vibration in the video and I do apologize for that, but it's the nature of the beast. So I do want to point out, my box is in fairly nice condition and I do keep my packaging because who knows in the future what I'll do with it if I decide. But I really like to have the artwork at least, you know, on a shelf and, you know, if you have the room for it. But so I'm going to bring caution to you guys opening this up. There's little cuts here on the top that catches the flap and it will tear very easily. This is actually very thin cardboard, so you're going to need something. I have always used a trusty butter knife, which is, you know, probably not the best thing, but it works because it has a lot of surface area here. So I can insert that into here and I can pull out and see how this tab is right here. And that will catch on that piece and it will rip it. And if you do like your packaging, and this is why we do part one for packaging, you will want to be very careful with that because that's almost all jewelry products. You see how well that popped out? I don't have any damage to my flap of my box. Okay, this is what the interior looks like. You can see how thin this really is. This is the interior packaging. So as I slide this out, just so you know also, the back is the front. So if you are thinking that the uh, front piece of this is going to be in the front or at least for this one it's in the rear so have your rear, your face down and check for this plastic piece that way you'll know you have the top because this will just fall off and all your pieces will go everywhere okay so this is what the insert um, looks like so you have some two stage maybe styrofoam and some plastic piece holding in most of the accessories in on the top so that's how that looks because simply all you really have to do is take this off and that's why I caution you about how you open your box that way you don't uh, um, lose all your pieces because there's a lot of pieces okay here is the top insert you can see how well all this stuff is securely packaged for you so they do their maximum effort to get it to you without any damage anywhere any pretty scrapes they do a relatively good job for these at least Joy Toy does, but you know, you know, sometimes the shipper that you buy them from throw a plastic bag on them and then you get them and yeah, well, I'm not going to uh, focus too much on that, but this looks incredible. Our next part of our uh, new mini series, we'll be, we'll be taking a look at all of this amazing pieces. We have a ton of soft goods some plastic pieces painted beautifully so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it and make sure you look for the playlist to watch the entire mini series okay here's our lower half of the um, styrofoam packing this houses the mech and some other pieces and I'm telling you on the far right there 
if you follow down with me, not only are you looking at the mech itself and the, and the, the substructure, this is his weapon. This thing is almost entire length of the box. Remember, this box is what? A little over, just under 15 inches. So what is it, like 13 inch long weapon? You know, estimated. Check it, look at how long that gun is. Wow, that's incredible. See how nicely painted. I love the gunmetal substructure of this Mac. It looks great. Very cool. Some you know, some parts already installed, like some soft, just a small piece of small soft goods there in the center. In the upper chest part, looks like it may be installed, and maybe the cockpit. I don't know. We'll be taking a look at that here. In our mini series, very cool. Okay, here is the two actual inserts together. You can see how many pieces this is, this thing actually comes with. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had a hard time finding one of these um, at a good price. I'm. Mean, I've seen them. I kind of passed on, they were like 170 some dollars plus tax and, and one place went like $30 to ship it in. It was like, holy moly. So I got kind of got lucky and got this from China. It was only up for like a day and then it uh, kind of went down and they sold out. So maybe check Amazon or, you know, some, I think he's still pre-order from some of the other, uh, favorite online stores that is a lot of stuff all right so this is going to be the conclusion of part one like i said there will be um a uh, playlist with all parts i'm not sure how many parts we're going to have yet because it seems how much we get into because there's a lot to go over and here on blast guys reviews we love our details and I'd love to show you guys what you're buying with your hard-earned money. So please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. And uh, if you have any questions, comment down below. If you, uh, um, if you share the video, like the video with all your friends, your social media uh, outlets, whoever you can do, help the channel out. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in part two.